Hi, this is David at Mash IT. Now, following on from our recent review of the Inspiron 15 inch 5505, this is the Ryzen Edition 15 inch laptop. We're going to open it up and take a look inside and upgrade the single channel RAM to dual channel and see what a performance boost it's going to give us. Now, fingers crossed, this should be quite an easy one to open. This is the first time I've opened this one, so let's give it a go. Now, whenever you're doing any work on a laptop, make sure you've got the right tools for the job. Don't just use any old screwdriver. Buy a decent set. And also, another thing that's really handy to have is a plastic pry tool. These are quite cheap. On Amazon, I'll pop some links down below if you haven't got any, because it is handy. You don't want to be jamming a metal screwdriver onto the motherboard if you're prying things off. Always use something plastic. Now, with this laptop, the base plate looks like it's held on with these nine screws. So we're going to take all these out and try and pry this base plate off. I'm hoping it's going to be quite straightforward. Looks it. Now, just undoing that there, I can feel that screw is captive. So this will make my life even easier. I can hear it pop. There it goes. So that will lift this base plate up, which makes it easy for us to lift it off in a second. Right, so I can feel the base plate is separated when I undid that screw and I had a little pop. So I'm going to start lifting away at this rear base. Hear the uh, clips coming up. Oh, so those aren't fixed in. Okay, let's take a look inside. So straight away we can see we've got a 53 watt hour battery in here. So we're getting pretty good battery life with this 15 watt chip. The good thing is uh, the Wi-Fi card is not soldered on. You can see it's just in a socket with the cables above there. And we've got a short 42 millimeter SSD installed by default. We also have a second M.2 SSD slot. So if you wish to add a second drive later, you can. Uh, and you can see it's uh, got the different holes there depending on the size. So you've got your 2242 and your 2280 marked up. So your 2280 is your default size. Again, I'm going to put some links down below in case you wish to pick one up on Amazon. So let's have a look what we've got in the RAM slots. So there we go. We bought the eight gigabyte version and it's a single stick of eight gigabyte RAM. Let's have a quick look what they've included. So it's just a Micron 3200 eight gigabyte chip. Pop that back in. Now I have got a Kingston eight gigabyte 3200. So fingers crossed it shouldn't matter that I'm mixing these memories. It's just because I had it on hand. Just make sure you put it the right way in. You see there's a little notch. You slide it straight in at a slight angle and push down till it clicks. And you've done it. That's it. That's the RAM upgraded. Same thing if you're upgrading the SSD, you put it in at a very slight angle, lower it down, and then you can see the screw hole will match up. You will need your own screw, and then you just screw the SSD down, and that is the M2 installed. So now that we've upgraded the RAM, I'm not going to bother with an SSD at the moment. I'm going to just pop this back on screw it up and we're going to see how well it performs now it's in dual channel mode. Now obviously you're just going to do a reverse procedure of what you did before. Screw all the screws back in and you're done. So now that we're back into uh, Windows we're just going to run a couple of benchmarks just to see how this uh, dual channel has affected the machine's performance. Now firstly we're running Geekbench 5. Now on the CPU part of the benchmark you can see that the single core score hasn't made much of a difference in the improvement, but the multi-core score has certainly improved. So you are getting better performance across all the cores by going in dual channel mode. Now, if we look at the uh, GPU side of uh, Geekbench, which is the OpenCL test, you can see that we've got a quite a nice improvement here on the actual uh, Vega scores, because obviously the Vega is where it actually appreciates the difference in single channel and dual channel. Now, the last test, we did with this dual channel versus single channel is Unigen Valley. Now this is going to be again utilizing the Vega graphics and you can see here from the single core of 290 odd points 
to the dual core of just over 500 points, there was a massive difference in the 3D performance by going from single channel to dual channel. So what we can take away from this is if you're only going to be using this laptop for office work, spreadsheets, watching videos, it's not a big deal to leave it in single channel mode, it's really not going to affect you too much. But if you are going to be utilising this laptop for a little bit of light gaming, some 3D rendering or anything that's going to utilise that Vega graphics or heavily the multi-core performance of this laptop, it is well worth the cheap price of buying a 8GB RAM stick, which is probably about $30, £30 in the UK. And as the 10 minute job to open up this laptop, pop this RAM stick in and really increase the 3D performance. Well, I hope you find this video useful. If there are any questions, pop them down in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And lastly, please, if you could hit like and subscribe and finally the notification bell, you will be notified of our upcoming video reviews as we have plenty more laptops on the way. Thank you for watching.